Welcome to Awesome American Adventures. I'm your host, Code Boy. Yeah! Revelation! Oh my god, we're all going to hell. My first impression of hell was that it was prettier than I thought it would be. In fact, it's quite picturesque. There are only 72 people living there. Proof that only God is authorized to send people to hell. Hell is located south of Flint, Michigan and north of Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's not too far from Woodburn Lake, Crooked Lake, and Blind Lake and sits along Hell Creek. The Dam Site Inn is located in downtown Hell. In uptown Hell, Hell Country Store and Spirit is your shopping center. And between the two in midtown Hell, you will find the Screams Ice Cream Store and Gift Shop, as well as the Wedding Chapel and the Miniature Golf Course. There is even a U.S. Post Office as well as an official U.S. Weather Bureau Station. It's great to know that staying in touch and knowing how hot it is in hell is important to people. Hell has frozen over only once since 1841. That was in 2004, when the water over the spillway between the Screams Ice Cream and the Dam Site Inn stopped flowing completely. I heard about hell from an online friend. I wanted to go to hell because everyone tells me I've been to hell and back. Now I can say I really have been. The way I met Hell's Mayor, Odom Plenty, was we drove into Hell, parked at the Screams Ice Cream Parlor, got out of the car, and there he was! They have premium dehydrated water, advertised as the best water in this world and beyond. You fill the bottle with tap water, recap the bottle, shake well, and voila! Rehydrated water from Hell. Right beside the premium water, you can purchase bottled dirt. The gift store even has the Deluxe Miracle Jesus action figure that feeds 5,000 people and turns water into wine. It says on the box, it comes complete with 5 fish and 2 loaves. I wonder if this is what they meant when they said Hell was under new ownership. You can even send postcards from Hell, which is a lot of fun. They burn the edges of the postcard to make it look like it's gone through fire, and then they postmark it clearly as being from Hell. They even have a rapper in hell. I didn't see any music CDs in hell. I just saw the ad for the rapper. Scary. Ugh. George Reeves settled in hell in 1838. He came with his wife and seven daughters. Back then, seven daughters and no sons was not exactly heaven on earth, if you know what I mean. On October 13th, 1841, the state of Michigan asked George what he wanted to call his town. He said, call it hell for all I care, everyone else does, and the rest is history. Just so you know, October 13, 1841 was a Wednesday, not a Friday. You may not realize this, hell has a university. This institution of higher learning awards over 100 different types of degrees from Damnation University. Hell is located in the Pinkney Hell Recreation Area, which has 11,000 acres of state property, including seven lakes. This location is MIC Codeplay approved. I had a great time in hell, and if I go to hell to live, I'd like it to be before I die. I'd go back again, no questions asked. Yes, I'd go to hell and back, and love every minute of it. Everybody talking, nobody listening, oh my god, what's up, what's happening, chatter, chatter, chatter.